Recording a video on the evening of Halloween is always fun because it means that at pretty much any moment, my recording can potentially be interrupted by a bunch of like pirates and ninjas banging on the door demanding candy. If you hear a doorbell going off in the background, uh, sorry in advance, it's most likely mine and not yours. Anyway, hello all the crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. And uh, in the November of 2024, Game Maker betas, Yo Yo Games thought that they could sneak a interesting little feature past me without my noticing. So, uh, if you go into the game options and the main game settings uh, form, you might notice a new little line which has appeared at the bottom of the, uh, the options which says automatically remove unused assets when compiling. Uh, this does exactly what it sounds like. So when you're making your game, uh, if you happen to have any um, like temporary sprites or uh, unused audio files or unused font files or anything like that, which are exist in your project taking up space but are never used, um, by default, Game Maker would include that in your game's build files anyway, whenever you run the game with F5 or whenever you uh, hit the Create Executable button, and uh, they they wouldn't really contribute to your game in any meaningful way. They'll just take up space, which, uh, depending on the nature and the number of assets in question, could potentially be a lot. But starting in the November of 2024 Game Maker betas, uh, there is now a setting which you can uh, which you can check, which will which will make Game Maker detect at least to the best of its knowledge, and remove unused assets uh, when you run your game, and that can potentially uh, cause the uh, build process to be quite a bit faster, because it doesn't have to process uh, potentially large or potentially very many unused files, and it will also, um, it can slim down the size of your build files quite a bit, which uh, always makes gamers happy. So if I were to just, uh, let's uncheck that. Anyway, what do I have here? So this is my usual uh, 2D example project with the, the ducks and the the dog and whatnot. Uh, I've also got in this junk folder just a bunch of a bunch of photographs of various animals we've had over the years, which, um, and this is a bit of a silly contrived example, but these just exist in this project to take up space. Um, there's a, some of these images are approaching like 20 years old and I don't know how I feel about that, but anyway, uh, if I were to uh, close all these and if I were to, um, let's, let's hit the run button, let's hit the build button and uh, export this, and export this as a uh, as an executable. Uh, it's going to take a couple of seconds to do its thing, and uh, when it does, we can see that this is going to take up about thirty megabytes in the um, in its zipped form. It'll be slightly larger than that uncompressed, and most of that is going to be like all these unused uh, all these unused image files, right? Which is not really uh, something that we really need in this game. Uh, a more a more likely example would again probably be if you had like temporary art uh, early on in your game's development and then it eventually got replaced by something else and then you forgot to take the temporary art out or if you had um if you have like multiple versions of a sound effect or a background music track but only one of them ends up actually being used in the game um those are all things which you probably don't really need to have in your game's final output because again they're just taking up space um, but tracking them down and finding them manually can be a bit of a chore, and uh, Game Maker being able to at least um, at least do its best to do this for you uh, is very nice. And I'll get to why it might not later on. So, firstly, let's go and uh, check that automatically remove unused assets when compiling checkbox, and let's go and build ourselves another executable. Uh, this should go slightly faster because we don't have to process all of these uh, fairly large image files uh, when it. Uh, when it builds our game, and we can see that we've gone down from about 30 megabytes of the zip file to about four and a half megabytes of the zip file, 4.7 megabytes. Well, I guess in the binary size, megabytes are, that's a very complicated statement. But anyway, uh, we can see that this worked. And uh, furthermore, if you uh, are perhaps interested in finding and removing the unused files, um, it will actually, um, it'll actually spit out a log and tell you which files it identifies as unused. So in my case, that's pretty much all the animal sprites. Uh, there's a couple of other additional graphical files in here, like the um, like these flowers, which aren't used anywhere in the uh, in the sample project, which are also unused. And is tree round really not used in the um, in the example project anywhere? I thought that one was. Guess not. All right, I thought I had a couple of those in this uh, in that test room, but apparently I don't. Anyway, if you want to uh, you know find and remove the unused assets uh, after um, after Game Maker figures out what they are, uh, then you uh, you can look in the log, you can see what they are, and then you can just like remove them yourself if you're done with them. 
No point in really having them take up space on the disk and in the, uh, in the project files, you know? It also detected, and I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but it also detected that we're not using the, um, some special effects like the, uh, the blur shader. That's a built-in game maker effect, uh, in this project. So that's interesting. So, uh, we can, um, we can investigate this further if we'd like. Uh, if all you care about is not having these things included in your game files, that's fine, and you can just stop watching the video right now. It's, uh, there's not really a whole lot you need to know for basic use of this function, but... Uh, we can uh, we can investigate this a little bit further. So if I were to open up just an object, um, for example, in the um, I think this is the player object. Uh, when it comes to code specifically, GameMaker has for the longest time uh, removed unused code to begin with. So if you had a um, a block of code which would never run. So if you had something like an if false, um, if you're wondering why this is something you would ever do, uh, this is something which uh, you might have like a configuration macro. You probably wouldn't ever write if false on its own, but you might like define a macro somewhere and you might set the macro's value to false and you might check against the macro. Any code that you write in here uh, will automatically be excluded from the game's binary. Uh, the, the game maker will do dead code elimination. The only difference now, I believe, is that game maker will have the ability to like remove entire script assets from the game files, but that's really the difference is really like trivial there. And uh, in any case, code doesn't take up a lot of space in the final output of your game anyway. Most of the space that's taken up by your game is going to be things like graphical and audio assets. However, this will also extend to, um, if you, for example, draw a sprite and you, uh, you use one, if you use a sprite, which is otherwise, otherwise not used anywhere in your project, uh, let's just, uh, let's just draw each of these in the create event, which is definitely a thing that you'll want to do. So because we have uh, all of these sprites being drawn in a block of unreachable code, um, Game Maker will still detect that these sprites are not part of your project and it will still remove them. So um, I do have that setting set, right? Um, okay, yeah, I do, I, I do still have the setting set. So if I were to build the game now, uh, there's going to be a couple of odd things which I noticed, and I'm not sure, in all likelihood, at least one of them is a bug. I'm not sure which which thing that I'm about to observe is going to be a bug, so um, these sprites were removed. Uh, those chicken sprites were not included in the final output file. This is exactly the same size that it was that it was before. So those chicken sprites have still been, still been removed, even though they, they exist in a block of unreachable code. But if you look inside... Uh, if you look inside the log of unused assets, uh, they're actually not listed. And I do remember Russell saying, uh, on, I think it was on the Discord, uh, about this feature that, um, assets that were referenced inside blocks of unreachable code would not be, uh, like, listed for removal, but it appears that they have been. And I don't know if I just misunderstood what Russell was saying, or if the fact that these sprites have not been exported is in itself a bug and the fact that they're not listed in the output log is correct, or conversely, I don't know if the fact that these sprites were removed is correct because this is unreachable code, and the fact that they're not appearing in the output log is a bug. One of those two statements is probably true, but because this is Game Maker and Game Maker just be like that sometimes, it's not impossible that there's something else going on here too. Uh, let's see, what else? I'm gonna get rid of this. So this does not apply to rooms, and the reason for that uh, let me uh, let me minimize those. The reason for that is that there's a handful of functions, uh, for example, room, go to, next, which are sometimes used by people in Game Maker. Uh, room last, uh, that's a, that's a variable, not a function. Uh, room go to previous things like this, um, which allow you to indirectly go to a room without referencing them outright. Um, so the uh, because you're allowed to do this. And Game Maker can't track exactly which rooms you're going to be using at all times. Um, this does not apply to rooms, so unused rooms will not be removed. So, for example, room two here uh, will still be included in the game's um, in the game's output. If I were to go and add a uh, where's an asset layer uh, or a background layer, I can put a sprite on here. No, you know what? I'll um I'll do an asset layer. And if I were to just toss some of these, uh, some of these silly images, yeah, that's fine. All right, that's uh, photography images are a little bit bigger than like 
video game sprites. But if I were to just toss a couple of these inside this uh, room two over here, I think that's good. Five of them. And if I were to get rid of that, and uh, let's get rid of that code which isn't used. Uh, let's build the game. And if I were to build this now, uh, the sprites which were referenced inside that unused room and also the um, the unused room itself uh, will still be included in the game files. So even though in this demo project you will never visit room two, uh, the uh, the assets associated with it will still be um, will still be exported. And uh, there is one other case which I can think of, uh, which I have not actually gone ahead and checked ahead of time, and I'm really curious as to. Uh, what it's gonna do, but if you have, uh, let's get rid of this. I really can just delete the whole room, you know what, let's just do that. Um, I did not check this ahead of, ahead of time, but if you have an object, uh, for example, and if you have, uh, like, let's make object 6 not referenced by anything, so this will be, this will be slated for removal in and of itself, but, um, if I assign, for example, uh, to object 6, a, um, a sprite, uh, for example, SPR chicken five, and let's uh, let's go the extra mile. Let's assign like SPR dog four as the collision mask as well. Um, so these two sprites are indirectly unused because they are they are referenced by object six here, but object six itself is unused. And I'm really curious if game maker is going to be smart enough to see that and uh, remove that. If this is going to be like a recursive check for unused assets or anything like that, I suspect the answer is going to be no. I suspect it's not that involved, but uh, I've been surprised in the past at, uh, at how on top of things Game Maker is when it comes to unused assets, and it appears that uh, they were indeed not included. Okay, so good job, Game Maker. Um, if I scroll up in the log, I do see that indeed uh, Chicken 5 and Dog 4 were indeed uh, listed as, uh, as unused assets, so uh, I stand corrected then. That's cool. Uh, Game Maker is indeed smart enough to uh, to eliminate like indirectly orphaned files like that. So I think that's it. Uh, this is interesting. It's a handy, convenient feature, but it's not going to change the world. As a bit of a fun fact, way back in like the Game Maker Studio one days, I wrote a, a little. I, I believe it was a Java program to do basically this myself, and it would instead of just like deleting the files for you, it would it would just list them out in a text file, and it would tell you which files in your game weren't used. And uh, I haven't thought about that in, like, probably five years now. And it didn't work for Game Maker Studio 2 anyway. But all the same, it is cool that this is something that's just, like, built into Game Maker. Uh, remember that if you are loading an older project into a, uh, into a current version of Game Maker, this will be off by default. So if you want to take advantage of this, uh, remember to, uh, to check this box. Uh, it will be enabled by default in newer projects. Oh, and also one more thing, uh, because this did come up, but... In the past, and this isn't something you really have to do anymore, uh, people have been occasionally known to do things like identifying all sprites or all fonts or whatever in a project by... Was that a doorbell? I almost got through this entire video without the trick-or-treaters coming by, but anyway, uh, people have been known to do things like repeat... Uh, like 10,000 times, say, if font exists index i, then do something with the font. Uh, in particular, older versions of Scribble were known for doing this, just to like identify every font in the project. I don't believe Scribble 9 does this anymore, uh, because we have a nice function that's, uh, what is it, get IDs, uh, asset get IDs. And you can, uh, it's a, there's a much easier way to just get like every font in a project by doing this instead. But if you are doing anything of this sort, in your project, uh, one probably stop doing that. Use asset get IDs instead, and two update Scribble uh, to a newer version that doesn't need to do this, because uh, doing this will cause the uh, the orphan file checker to like not realize that an asset can potentially be used, and it will be removed from the project, and then like all of a sudden you won't be able to actually access it in the game at runtime because it's been removed. So uh, just be uh, be aware of that. Anyway, hey. I think that is it for me. Uh, my name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I like to post videos on the weird stuff you can do in Game Maker, like weird 3D stuff or weird shader stuff. So if any of that appeals to you, feel free to subscribe. I also do just post videos on Game Maker updates whenever I see something interesting. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, link to that can be found in all the usual places. 
You should all go check out Wizard X and the Lost Hat, which is the game that I like to work on when I'm not doing YouTube stuff. Link to that can be found down below as well. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Square Crow, Spy Die Games, Manta Ray, Game Maker, Edward Holt, and DJ Gibbles for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.